aluminum-backed printed circuit board fabrication in PCB assembly PCB is a power supply source to run different electronic devices. In PCB assembly, printed circuit boards have different base materials, depending on their application. In general, circuit boards have a fiberglass base, but aluminum-backed PCB is also common it has a metal base but the laminate is covered with copper. Such PCB performs better due to high-end thermal conductivity and electrical insulation. The aluminum back circuit board involves alloy plates which are a blend of three metals, including aluminum, silicon, and magnesium. These PCBs are different from fiberglass. Let's discuss different layers in an aluminum PCB. First layer or base, it has an aluminum alloy that helps have an effective through-hole PCB. Thermal insulation, it consists of ceramic polymer and it is vital for a PCB. The polymer has a high thermal resistance, good viscoelastic properties, and a high resistance to mechanical stresses. Copper foil, it is the circuit layer with copper foil, and it may weigh up to 1 to 10 ounces. Dielectric layer, the purpose of the dielectric is to absorb heat when there is current in the circuits. Then it goes to aluminum, dispersing the heat. PCB having a better thermal resistance enhances its life. Manufacturing of aluminum PCB The construction of aluminum printed circuit board involves different layers as described here. The base and circuit layers have a thin dielectric layer between them. After that comes the etching of copper foil, or circuit layer to help you have a certain pattern. All these layers eliminate a circuit's heat. Types of aluminum PCB The aluminum circuit board has three main types such as through-hole, flexible, and hybrid. Let's discuss them one by one. Through-hole aluminum circuit board, the pre-drilling is involved in a through-hole circuit board. The hole is then filled with the dielectric. Flexible aluminum circuit board, such a circuit board has a flexible dielectric to provide high flexibility, electrical insulation, and thermal conductivity. Aluminum and dielectric make a product flexible having different shapes. Moreover, it involves low-cost fixtures and connectors. Hybrid aluminum circuit board, a hybrid aluminum circuit board is common in RF applications. Its thermal performance is very high if you use it in a product with a standard FR4. Benefits of aluminum circuit boards You can take benefit from an aluminum PCB in managed ways, such as it is not costly because aluminum is easily available in many areas, and its mining is not hard like other metals. Whereas PCB manufacturing with aluminum also involves less cost, so you can replace heat sinks with aluminum. It is environmental friendly because it does not emit toxic chemicals. Besides, it is easy to recycle. From construction to its application, an aluminum circuit board is safe for the environment. It does not let the heat damage PCB by keeping the heat away from delicate components. You will find aluminum PCBs stronger than fiberglass and ceramic based circuit boards. It prevents accidental damage that happens during manufacturing and daily applications. It is also lightweight which reduces the weight of the end product. Such a quality makes it more reliable because it is easy to manage. PC board having aluminum involves a black or white solder mask. Applications of aluminum backed PCBs The aluminum backed PCB is suitable for devices that need more heat tolerance and dissipation. They are highly effective in preventing the PCB components from heat and help manage temperatures while designing a PCB. In this sense, the aluminum backed PCB is 10 times more effective than a fiberglass PCB. When the thermal dissipation is high, it helps design high density and high power circuit boards. Circuit boards with aluminum bases are useful for LED applications, such as automotive lights, traffic lights, and ordinary lighting. Aluminum back circuit boards enhance the density of the LEDs and also help the installed LEDs to function at more power, maintaining temperatures. Printed circuit boards with an aluminum base help in having fewer safety margins with power LEDs as compared to the traditional PCB design. When the operating temperature is low, the LEDs can have a longer lifespan. Aluminum-based PCB is also useful for power supplies, motor controllers, automotive applications, and circuitry with high currents. 
such boards have a simple design due to high heat dissipation. It prevents heat sinking and forced air, eventually reducing the expenses of the design. Make sure to store your aluminum PCB in a dark and dry place. Avoid placing them in a damp room as it can change their color to yellow or black due to moisture absorption. You will often see aluminum circuit boards in power converting devices and LED. It enhances the LED's lifespan, making it stable. Aluminum substrates are used in street lights or other residential or commercial lights. Aluminum circuit boards help power converters to manage electronic devices and charge currents. It is also useful for several other industries. Aluminum PCB ensures less damage to the circuit board by keeping heat away from vital components. Moreover, it comes up with high thermal conductivity. It can tolerate high temperatures and manage high density PCBs. Moreover, it is less vulnerable to damage due to more durability. It is not toxic to the environment. A non-metal PCB lacks thermal conductivity and you have to design it with a conductive material. You need heat sinks, forced air, and copped vias to prevent the circuit from heat. Which conductive material will be the best for my application? Several factors determine the kind of circuit board you require. Generally, aluminum PCB is ideal where high heat dissipation is required. The properties of aluminum are compatible with high power and thick designs, which is not the case with standard circuit boards. However, designers having a low budget can use non-metal substrates, such as flex circuits having polymer. It can tolerate vibrations better than aluminum flex substrates. Standard or traditional printed circuit boards The dielectric and copper make standard circuit boards having different layers. Most standard PCBs have FR4 substrate, moreover, fiberglass is less costly. The board has many layers of copper and other elements, such as silk screen and solder masks help in conductivity and component placement. The layers are either on both sides or one side of the circuit board. Whereas there are also stack UPS with several layers. Standard circuit boards can power both high-end and low-end electronic devices. Single-sided boards are used in less complex products, such as calculators. But, multilayer PCBs are essential for complex devices like supercomputers or space equipment. Pros and cons of standard circuit boards Generally, the standard PCBs are more adaptable than others. You can use any substrate depending on your budget and durability. You can go for a fiberglass circuit board if your budget is low or if you need a low-intensity board. It is not compatible with high stress, so special applications need flex or radio frequency substrates. On the other hand, FR4 PCBs need additional features to tolerate high heat or temperature. The application and the kind of device determine if you need a standard circuit board or an aluminum board. You can get the design through online sources or can hire an engineering company for this purpose. You can also read our other posts to understand a common PCB. FAQs What is an aluminum PCB? The main structure of an aluminum PCB is just like other PCBs having silk screen, solder mask, and copper. It has an aluminum substrate, but it can also be a mix of aluminum and fiberglass. Why should I have aluminum PCB? Aluminum back circuit boards are long-term and durable because they can manage high temperatures and reduce failures. They are also mechanically balanced and the thermal expansion level is also lower compared to other materials. Where can I use aluminum PCB? You can use it for multiple lights, such as surgical lighting, interior lighting, landscape lighting, tail light tools, operation theater lighting, etc. Moreover, it is compatible with power converters, auto dashboards, powerful scanners signal beacons, and power transmissions. What is a hybrid aluminum PCB? A hybrid aluminum circuit board is common in RF applications. Its thermal performance is very high if you use it in a product with a standard FR4. What is the dielectric layer in PCB? The purpose of the dielectric is to absorb heat when there is current in the circuits. After that, it goes to aluminum to disperse the heat. PCB having a better thermal resistance enhances its life. 
What is flexible aluminum PCB? The flexible aluminum circuit board has a flexible dielectric to provide high flexibility, electrical insulation, and thermal conductivity. Aluminum and dielectric make a product flexible having different shapes. Moreover, it involves low-cost fixtures and connectors. Conclusion Aluminum boards are more niche-oriented than other circuit boards. However, their cost is higher than standard PCBs. You can take benefit from aluminum PCB if your application involves high temperatures, or it won't be a good investment. The aluminum circuit board has three main types, such as through-hole, flexible, and hybrid. Your requirements determine the kind of PCB you should have. Would like to know more about aluminum backed PCB or printed circuit board assembly? Email us at sales at pnconline.com.